welcome back to another episode of Hero's Journey. We got T Lynn in the house. We're live again, folks, per usual. Happy Saturday. It is May 8th. And yeah, we're uh, got a little different camera setup today. I like this new side profile. I'm all about the side profile. So the goal here will be I will talk this way. And how loud is this? Let's maybe just give this a teeny crank up. Just What about that? Let's see here. Let's see here now. Check, check. Ooh, okay. That can be a little better. I like that. Um, yeah guys, hope everyone's doing well. Again, it is it's it's summertime here in, in California. We have reached summertime status. Um, Tyler, I need to get on that golf tournament. So a few, uh, a few little updates in the life of me, in the life of me, and life of it's all about me, and it's all about me. So first things first, a big update: new sticky notes, new post-its. Look at these things. I mean, this is, these are it, y'all. This is the new. Uh, this is the new. That's the new thing right here. These are the new ones. Cause look, you can. Look how big that is. Because usually what happens to me is I'll have the little sticky notes and I run out of room. As you can see here, you run out of room, you know, pretty easily. These ones, I mean, look at that. Look at that real estate. So, and you're still not sacrificing the stick. Look at that. All right, see you later, Instagram Live. There you go. I mean, you look, and, and you gotta get, you gotta spend the extra money and get the actual post-it notes because they stick, and you can take them off, and they'll stick again. You take them off. You do this all day, all day. Never let, never lose any stickiness with them, with those post-it brand. Shout out, post-it. Posted brand sticky notes. You unfortunately gotta spend that extra couple bucks. Get yourself a posted brand. So now we can go through through the list of topics today. So posted notes, that was the first one. Alright, next guys. So as many of y'all know, I am a Apple fanboy. This is one of the best, coolest products ever. The AirPods. Now these are the regular AirPods. So, you know, I was, I didn't want the pro, we got Guad, what's up Guadi? You're gonna get a sneak peek Guad, I just got the, I just ordered the AirPod Pros. These are the AirPods. Um, so, do you have the AirPod Pros? We'll see if Guad has the AirPod Pros. Oh, you might have left. This isn't good content. <laughs> you have better things to do on your on Saturday at noon. Let's see. Let's see. I just want to check these audio levels because we have them a little louder. But this goal is to get this one pretty short and then do a little uh, my go-to no edit. My go-to no edit. Last time I said that, I went for an hour and a half, so it's kind of hilarious. Oh, back to the story. So we had to get through all my points within that 15 minutes. Because I actually do have someone of a life. But, so, these are the AirPods. Just, uh, AirPod Pros are like 250 But, check them out on the old Amazon. 197 And I had been, and these, and why I wanted the new ones, like I wouldn't want them. But, these batteries have kind of went to crap. They, uh... They are like, you wear them for 20 to 45 minutes and then they'll crap out. The battery will die. And you know, I've had them for two and a half, almost three years now, and they're awesome. Like, they're great, super great. I can even sometimes get sneaky and wear them underneath another pair of headphones. And this is kind of what I like to do sometimes when I'm working. I'll get sneaky and do that. And you get a little well, uh, well, YouTube action right there, then you have your proper editing or whatever you're doing. You get a two for one. You get a two for one, two for one special on the entertainment work. Um, but, you know, it, that could be a little, 
just depends like if you just want to have a little something in the background but I also want to be plugged in so but don't tell anyone that secret um, but also the AirPod Pros could do that better and the fact that they are only 197 when I bought these they're 170 and that was two to three years ago I think my thing's on repeat uh, that's what's going on I was like why is this song playing ten times in a row so had to pull the trigger you know after doing my OCD research like our AirPod Pro is better than AirPods oh my god what's the deal pull the trigger so they should be here soon so I'm excited about that now the one thing I'm concerned about is I love how these fit they're a little more um like this part just fits in my ear really nicely wow Sony does not want to focus on not my face well that's great it loves me but the AirPods they have a shorter stem so it'll do better on my little move and then also that little silicon thing they have on top. We'll see if that works better or not with my ear. I'm thinking it in the end will, but it could take a little getting used to. But like I used to have a lot of ear pop, earbuds that did go in the ear, and I didn't mind them or whatever. But I loved how these you can hear everything also, but they stay in there. And for me, I forget they're in 100%. I went surfing and forgot they're in there, and then been like, oh crap, and take them out when I'm still walking in the water. So, um. So yeah, so we'll see, they have a transparency mode, which supposedly, even though they s they go in your ear better, which in theory will, will be a little more like clogged, um, transparency in theory creates more of a effect that these have. So we'll see how that works. People say it works really, really good, so I'm stoked. And I mean, yeah, I'm kind of an audiophile, so I don't feel too bad about getting headphones, but these are my other gems. So these are the uh, Sony's bass. Oh yeah, Carter, Carter, what's up? I just got the Air, AirPod Pros. I ordered them. I know. I had to do it. These batteries are getting low. Do you have the AirPods Pro? And also they're called the AirPods Pro. They're not called the AirPods AirPod Pros. And at first I was like, what? Everyone's call, saying them weird. They're the AirPod Pros. And then everyone kept saying AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro. So they're the AirPods Pro. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I mean, I, I love these, but we'll see if I like the other ones as much. So maybe I'll do a little, little review, a little tech review. Yeah, then these the Sony bass headphones are my. These are freaking awesome. I love these things. So, all uh, my bass overhead drivers, and then the new AirPods with new battery and etc. I bought Logan's old AirPods from him. Nice, the OGs. Yeah, me too. Um, Car Andy said I bought Logan Clark's old AirPods. Shout out Logan. I have the OGs. Me too. I love these. I almost don't want the new ones, but I'm willing to give them a try because I've read a lot of good things. And in the end, I have a couple little reasons. Like I just went over. Like I like to almost I like to put them in and do a little over. It's hilarious, but that's something I do. And then being shorter, that'll work better. And just the battery on these are shot. Supposedly there's a little better series Siri controls, and you know, just fun to Apple rarely. Uh, doesn't deliver for me. Like I'm big Apple fan. Um, all their stuffs just. And once you get a couple of their things and they're and they're like using each other, that sounded weird. But they go back and forth. Like I put this in, it automatically registers on the phone or the iPad. It's it's like brilliant. And no other company, no other tech has has really gotten to that point. So that's really cool. So Apple Pro's on the way. I'll keep you up to date. They're on super sale. They're 197, Andy. And then I got the Apple Care for 29 bucks, you know. So that's basically for 130, or sorry, 230. Got the Apple Pod Pro, Apple Pod, the AirPods Pro for 230, and that's with Apple Care. Boom, that's a steal. They're 250 still, and I got you know 20, 30 bucks off, and that included Apple Care. Shoot a shoots. So we get that one on the list. We can cross it off. We gotta, we gotta keep this one under 15, y'all. Keep this one under 15, Carter. We had a busy day today of uh, nothing. No, I'm just joking. I got stuff to do, but once these go over 15, then it turns into a whole kerfuffle. I'm trying to avoid that today. We'll see. Um, other other news. I love watching hilarious YouTube drama. That's one of my new activities too. I watch a lot of YouTubers that have like between 2,000 and 3,000 followers. And a couple of them like kind of do funny roasts of each other and then they'll kind of like do reaction videos and it's just a good time so if you have no life like me you go on a youtube 
find people you like and they kind of do things like the hero's journey. Maybe they just have like a journal vlog or whatever, but it's funny how there'll be little, in any area of life comes little groups and then YouTube, these little groups develop. And then it's just fun to kind of like sometimes, in YouTube that's how you build uh, the algorithm too, is you do reaction videos and you do videos on other channels, big or small, but that has a big appeal. Kind of like a Comedy Central roast has it has a big appeal, so that's that's fun. That's fun. So if you uh, have the life, do that. I need to open this. I need to open that up. That uh, window a little bit is getting hot in here. It's getting hot. All right, I'm not gonna say any names of the YouTubers because um, I just don't want to like get anyone in trouble or whatever. Um, one other last thing, guys. So the dentists. Uh, do you trust dentists? I don't know anymore. I'll, a quick story. So a few years ago, now I have I have good teeth, but I do have a lot of cavities and crowns and fillings, etc., that have been done. Side note: I won Best Smile in high school. So take note, or uh, I don't not take note, but uh, you know, go me, go me, Best Smile. But that means you know at least I want to somewhat protect them. So when I used to go to the dentist, I would. 99% of the time say, oh, like, I'll listen to you, like, get a cap, get a crown, okay, okay. A few years ago, though, in San Diego, I went in, and I was a newer dentist, and I always have, like, crappy insurance, so it's like, I'm getting good treatment, but at the same time, I gotta pay more when I get the, the caps and the crowns and stuff. But, uh, so I go to the San Diego dentist, and they're like, oh, you need, like, a crown here, a crown here, you know, whatever. So I do the work, and the first time they do the crown, this hadn't happened before, they kind of fuck up. And I'm like, oh god. So they do it again. And they're like, oh sorry, we messed up again. And they do it again. And by this time, like they had crowned with a cap like three times the same tooth. So in between visits, like my teeth were killing me. Like I, I never had had a toothache like that in rememberable time of my life. And dude, it was awful. Like it gave me these headaches. And like, and I never had like uh, alignment issues like with my teeth, like how they fit together and close my mouth and chew. But after getting like a year or two of these like crowns and caps and I went to one other dentist to see if they were any better and it ended up not being better. And it was like kind of this whole nightmare of like dental work. And now it's like finally uh, kind of fixed itself. But like, you know, I went and now I have a new dentist here in LA who I like a lot, he's the man. And he, and I tell him, I'm like, I've just had a lot of kind of work done on a few of these areas, and if it's not super necessary, like, can we just hold off on, because like one or two, he's already like, all right, you probably need to replace this crown, and, and I'm just like having flashbacks of like the horror of like getting these crowns like taken off, and then like, oh my God, it just like hurts thinking about it, so. So, with all this being said, like, I just don't know how much trust of, like, dentists are, Shout out to all the dentists, and I appreciate y'all's work. But it's like one of those things that you go to more often. Like with other doctors, I'm more go when I have the problem. Dentist is like preventative maintenance, and you're just going routinely. So, and then a lot of times, like the caps and stuff are almost like upsells for them. So it's just interesting how it's kind of mixed like business and your health, which is, I guess, the whole healthcare industry. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know anyone else's trust, but but these days I'm just a little more apprehensive. But luckily, like I'm doing a lot better now, and everything's everything's good in here. But you know, I, it's it, it's never been the same since the the one dentist like was trying to cap and crown a couple of them and kept fucking up, and then it kind of sucks. Like they <laughs> kind of messed up messed up some stuff, and I was like, all right, thanks. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys, I went through my my whole list. And then when you're done with your list, your post-it list, you take it, and you can either do two things, crumple it, throw it away, or what I like to do, I do the tear. You boom, and with this one, you can double tear. And then you crumple, and that's, and you throw, and then you air ball, and that is how you do it. All right, Carter, uh, about to crank out some taxes, nice. Yeah, I just finished mine. Get, get them quick, they're doing a week. Keep flossing, yep, big flosser, always floss. Keith, they're just close together, so. All right, Carter, peace. All right, internet world and friends, fam. Have a good one. Peace.